All right, welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome to a tips and tricks and how-to video on Myth of Empires. And in this video, we're going to go over the tips and a how-to on fishing while using a fishing trap, as you see right there. Kind of go over the basics on how to use that and how to attain fish over time from a river without having to use a fishing pole. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into all that. So stick with me. All right, welcome back. So here you can see I got my fishing trap right there. Built a little dock here and I got a little fishing hut with a bunch of uh, fishing bait and everything here. As you can see, I did uh, create a bunch of bait, and the idea is to load up this fishing trap okay, with a bunch of bait. So I got a couple stacks here, so intention, and we're going to put everything we have in there. Did I grab three? I did. I'm going to grab one more. I'm going to put 400 in there. Well, actually, we'll just do three, I think. Maybe three will be good for now, so that way... I to do three or four I mean you, that way you leave this bottom tier open and the idea is to have a bunch of bait in there because what's going to happen is the thing is going to collect fish over time and the type of bait that's in there can allow you to collect, collect a different quality of fish now there are different types of bait I'm using the basic fishing bait now you can combine that with the fishing rod and you can actually fish yourself or you can do a harpoon as well but in order to use a harpoon, you need to find the fish in the river and then stab them with the harpoon and collect them. That's probably the easiest and fastest way to do it. The only downside is you have to run down the river line or across the lakes or wherever the water source to find the fish swimming around and then go after them and hunt them with the harpoon. So you'll get them quicker and you'll get more faster. You just got to find them. Um, the fishing rod, it's just, you know, a basic way of catching fish. It throws it out there, has a little mini game. I think it's like right click once it starts um, bobbing and boom, you got it. And then you just reel it in. Pretty simple. You know, that's just a time, like a mini game in itself, like any fishing component in any game. And then, of course, we have the traps as well as we're building. To build the trap, you would want to come over to your carpenter's bench. As we can see here, we have Lucy working on the carpenter's bench, and you can make the angler's creel right there. Costs 30 hardwood, 14 copper ink bars, and 9 twine. This is kind of expensive, and they are pretty pricey, but keep in mind, you can only have one. Uh, I tried to make five. I was going to put five of them down there and hopefully collect a bunch of them at one giving time. I was going to put 100 bait in each one and let all five just sit and accumulate a bunch of fish. But I guess they do not want you to do that, and seeing that, that's probably a good way of collecting a lot of fish. So you only have one. Don't make the mistake that I did and, buy and build five. I wasted a bunch of resources doing it. Now I have extra angular creels in my inventory, as you can see, with pretty much nothing to do. So once you have one of those, all you have to do is just come out here and place it in the water. And once it's uh, in the water, it'll allow you to lay it down. Now it wants to be in the water, so we can go ahead and kind of show you how to lay one down. It won't let me, but you can see it has to be in the water. So right here is a good spot. It just says you reach the limit that the building type you can't have more than one. Um, so you can see here, make sure you're in a good spot because right here it says building should be placed in water. So you just want to move around. It just has to find a deep uh, water source, like it can't be too shallow. Like right here is a good spot. I wouldn't be good to line them all up. But, and basically, once that's done, you come in there, drop your bait in there, and over time, you will collect fish. Now, it is a slow process. The only downsides to this, opposed to the harpoon and then the fishing rod, is that you have to check this periodically throughout the time you're playing. Because they will just collect, and the fish will go in there, and they do have a DK timer. So if, if you don't collect them, uh, soon enough, they will rot and become, you know, rotten meat. So either way, it's still a good source of some type of resource. You'll get rotten meat to use for fertilization, or you'll get the fish itself, which is a better source of food over, like, grilled meat and stuff. It's just a little harder to get 
and a lot of it. So we're going to see. We're going to let that go, see what happens. We'll just hopefully we'll get in there over time, collect it, and hopefully with the 300 bait, we can should be able to get a lot. My theory is, is the more bait you have, the more fish you're going to pull in and the more fish that stack, you know, a lot of it shouldn't decay over time. By the time you get here, let's say if I bring in 100 fish, then out of that 100, I should be able to get there in time and collect like seven or something, you know, so the more you have in there, the more of a chance you have to bring some back, you know, before you forget. So if you put like 10 bait in there, yeah, you get 10 fish. By the time you remember to go get those 10 fish, they're going to be gone. So it's a good way of getting fish over time, but make sure you load it up with bait. And then that's going to pull in some fish. So we'll let it go ahead and sit for a little bit. I'll give you, let's see, 20 minutes. We'll let it sit for 20 minutes, kind of get a good time frame on how much fish will be brought in in a 20 minute span. And then we can kind of gauge it from there if it's a viable resource or not. So once the 20 minute is up and over with, I will be back and we'll kind of go ahead and see our payout. All right, welcome back here. It's been about, uh, about between 20 to 30 minutes. I would say more like 30 minutes now. So we'll go ahead and check the fish trap. And we can see we have one. So we obtained one fish within the 30 minutes of that being in there. Now, again, keep in mind, this is more of a of a passive food source. So it's not like put a bunch of bait and then 20, 30 minutes, an hour later, you're going to have a bunch of fish in there. It's more like put a bunch of bait in there. Once you log off and come back, there should be a good amount in there. Normally, I've been putting about, you know, 10, 20 pieces in there. And as you can see, I came back. 20 fish but they're all gone now with 300 of them in there i should be able to accumulate a lot of fish in the time period i'm gone so when i come back there should be a bunch of fish in there that i should grab and be able to cook yes i'll lose some in the process but hopefully there's so much in there that it won't matter and i can use the uh, rotten meat to make fertilizer and collect the fish that i do have to cook so I think it's more about having more bait than not. So we'll go ahead and see. So keep that in mind. It's just a passive thing that just kind of keep checking on it. You know, a good thing is to put a bunch of bait in there when before you log off, collect it when you come back and when you know log back in, go check the trap, collect what's in there, or load it up while you're playing. You're playing for a couple hours or whatnot, then check it before you leave, collect whatever's in there. And then again, just kind of keep going through the process. So once you log in, check it. And then by the time you log in again, there should be more in there or vice versa. Before you, you know, before you log out, check it. And then by the time you log back in, it should be there. So we'll see. Hopefully in time it will do um, what I'm thinking it will do. You no, know, it has had its benefits in the past where it did, you know, I was able to catch it uh, with a bunch of fish in there, like five or six. And it did help because they do provide a good food stores rather than cook meat so we'll see how this works out yeah so hopefully this video kind of goes over and shows you how to build a fishing trap and kind of tips on how to use them and the best way to get the most efficiency out of them um if you want to stop in on monday i'll be streaming this game live and mondays and tuesdays i always stream uh, 7 30 uh, p.m central standard time i am now currently playing myth of empires regularly there so if you want to pop in there and see if those fish traps actually worked out the way i thought they would or just come hang out with me and watch me build things like this as base here or you know get resources and stuff like that we kind of do all kinds of stuff here so also if you are interested in the content and you do like the content and you want more of it coming, you know, please let me know by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, leave me a comment, all that fun stuff. And then that kind of gives me an idea that, you know, what everybody kind of like and wants more of, and I can kind of work towards that. So, and as you know, I go down the line playing more survival games, I will bring more tips, tricks, and how to's for those particular games down the line too. So, Anyways, that's going to be it for me in this video. So stay tuned to the next video. Until next time, peace out.